but he's still too far from shore. The buffalo is playing its only card. In water, Matimba loses the advantage. She's wary, and now there's a bigger problem approaching. The stalkers are now stalked themselves. The elephant ensures the buffalo lives a little bit longer. But the family is too hungry to give up on a sure thing. Now, Matimba settles into wait, while Kanya chooses a spot in full view of the buffalo. The cubs are learning. One lioness distracts the prey, while the other waits to attack. <laughs> Hours later, the buffalo changes position, but not wisely. It's just what Matimba has been waiting for. The buffalo is too weak to fight. The cubs take it all in. The lionesses show the cubs exactly what to do. At last, the hungry cubs can fill their bellies. The pride will eat and rest. Eat and rest all through the night. The white cubs are now 10 months old. At this age, everything's a target for fun. Kanya never refuses an invitation to play. As for Matimba, she's always on duty, guarding her family. Still, Kanya always tries to lighten Matimba's spirit. The cubs join in as Matimba approaches. Spotted hyenas are searching for food. They will follow lions, especially groups without males. After the lionesses have hunted, they will gang up to push them off their kills. Our pride has taken down a zebra.
The cubs are not old enough to hunt, but they're not so small and helpless anymore. The hyenas move in. The cubs are big enough to learn how to confront hyenas, so Matimba takes them forward. The atmosphere is charged with aggression. By scuffing the ground, Matimba stakes their claim to this place and the zebra kill behind them. 